Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little review here of CM13. Uh, I nearly said CM12 then, uh, like I did on the last one, but it's actually CM13 uh, based for Android Marshmallow here. Uh, so we have put it on the trusty old LG G3, which is still a fantastic phone here. Uh, and uh, I was quite interested to get it on actually because of the potential battery life improvements from those as well as like uh, some other optimizations and themes that you can put on with uh, CM13. Uh, you can see that uh, it is uh, coming with a similar kind of wallpaper here as other CM13 devices. Uh, if we go into the actual build area you can see uh, about phone and uh, you can see here what we're running so running uh, the uh, November patch level for Android security uh, the version here uh, which is very nice and also I think the actual name of this particular build is uh, uh, Temasax uh, unofficial build so uh, this is an official CM13 but it's close enough really in terms of you know, the functionality etc uh, can have a look here in the settings and you can see that we do get uh, quite a lot of customization that you get on some other uh, devices here running CM13 such as the LCD pixel density uh, as well as uh, your live display as well and also if we go here into the advanced settings you can see we do get the ability to put larger icons on which I do enjoy uh, change the scroll effect as well uh, which uh, I think actually may be disabled here for some reason uh, we do have a change here though that we can do uh, so lots of customization as you'd expect from uh, the CM13 here uh, I'm presuming that we're going to get some nice wallpapers here as well so you can see we do get some you may uh, notice from like your OnePlus 1 uh, as well as other signage and mod devices so quite nice ones here uh, obviously you get your themes as well like uh, we saw with some other devices so if you want to put this uh, CM12 LG G4 theme on uh, you should be able to so let's see here if we can put this one on and let's go back so let's put the uh, the background on here but usually you can go a little bit further there we go everything wasn't coming up there so if we put everything on hopefully we can get a nice LG G4 experience here and yeah you can see we do have some LG G4 icons very nice and still have the uh, vertical scrolling obviously uh, but very nice uh, customization on CM13 obviously here uh, also you obviously you do get access to your widgets etc which are quite nice as well and uh, I don't think the I don't know if the double taps uh, disabled that could be disabled here we just have a look so you can see it's changed pretty much everything here when it comes to the LG G4 theme which is pretty awesome. Uh, so it's not just you know one or two things here, double tap to wake. So hopefully, yes that does work. So you can see very nice uh, stock uh, kind of build here. I'm uh, just going to just quickly uh, disable this theme here and go back to uh, what we were on, the default, although it is a very nice uh, LG G4 theme, I must say so myself, uh, but you can obviously get other ones as well, Galaxy S6 theme obviously and some others, a little crash there but so far it looks quite stable. Uh, so we're back to normal now. Been testing the camera. Obviously, it's quite important to, you know, make sure it works here. Uh, so just going to see, you know, how it looks. So you do get your blobby kind of cursor here. Ah, 
so we do have this uh, connect, connect, connect to camera issue uh, so it may, may not be 100% stable here uh, but you know I think uh, it is probably a work in development here so you can see we, we're connected again uh, let's try the the um, video recording see if we can get that up so video So it seems to have worked. And the settings, obviously, can you get your 4K? No. So no 4K is supported at the moment. Uh, so it works, obviously, but could be temperamental. Uh, I do think, actually, there is some updates I've yet to put on, though, to the, the ROM. So that could be to do with that. I did notice uh, there was some updates saying that they needed to be installed uh, but unlike the other ROM they don't come up in the same area so might have to look for them but uh, nevertheless uh, you can see we do get some CM stuff on here such as uh, your nice audio effects which is quite cool and also uh, we do have this browser as well so I think this is a CM browser and file manager and also the music app so that is pretty cool and uh, I think uh, we do have the multi-user support as well So something a little bit weird here, maybe uh, with the multi-user, uh, probably not quite as stable as uh, you know you might want right now. But this is actually the updates that did come up, you see, we do have some updates to install. So maybe installing them will kind of uh, fix these issues. Uh, but nevertheless, I did try to actually run an Antutu as well, but it didn't uh, go all the way through. Uh, it kind of fell over at the graphics section again, probably because of the uh, ROM needs to be updated. So, uh, but yeah, you know, if you're looking for a very nice uh, ROM here for your LDG3 uh, based upon Marshmallow, this is definitely worth checking out. It looks like a very hot ROM. Uh, if they come out as well with the official CM13, I might uh, look into that and see how that looks. Uh, but hope you uh, enjoyed the video. LG G3 still a fantastic phone here uh, in 2015 and one of my old daily drivers. So I'm very familiar with it. Uh, and uh, if you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.